everybody, it's uh, Eugene Lisho and welcome to Click3D. Uh, this is the program where we talk about how we can use simple technologies like your mobile phone uh, to create realistic photogrammetry models. And I'll be discussing tips, tricks, and different kinds of things that you can do. How you're going to extract the images. So there's different software you can use. Um, I use uh, Input Ace. I've got Premiere Pro. Um, there are other things like VLC, which is a free program uh, that you can use. And basically, just extract these images. Now, when you are extracting the frames, you don't need to do a ton of them. So if you if you have you know 60 frames a second, 30 frames a second, or higher frame rates like 240 frames a second, you really only need one or two images per second. At least in this example, I wasn't moving all that fast, so you know I would have only been moving you know a couple of meters or so, uh, you know maybe 10 feet or something for every second. So that's good. It would allow me to have uh, enough overlap. Uh, for the for the reconstruction. Now, the other thing too is that a lot of software today um, that I use, anyway, they've incorporated the video um, as a type of import. So you can just drag and drop video directly into the software. And what it'll do is it'll automatically extract frames for you, or you can tell it, look, I want you know one frame every second or five frames every second, uh, whatever it is that you want or ho however much that you think you need. So that's really a really great benefit. So um, sometimes if you wanna extract it yourself, you can in other software, but a lot of the uh, software like Photomodeler, 3DF Zephyr, um, I believe I believe Agisoft uh, might have that as well, but you have some choices here. So uh, bringing in video is not a problem. Hopefully you learned something with respect to video and we'll see you next time on Click3D. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.